Daryl is in service with a quick tip for OneDrive shortcuts. I learned this um, from my, ha my friend Hans Brender this week, that with Microsoft's uh, OneDrive, uh, you can rename OneDrive shortcuts. What are OneDrive shortcuts? They're a simple way to be able to choose what you want to bring into OneDrive and into Windows Explorer on your machine, and just for convenience, be able to simply drag and drop things. Now, when I was using OneDrive shortcuts to begin with, uh, I would choose and, and synchronize a folder, and it, uh, it seemed a bit hard to be able to keep track of where things were. But Han showed me that you can rename a shortcut, and it doesn't break the, the link or the synchronization, it just gives it a different name. So let's take a look at that. Just come over here, have a look, have a look. We're gonna see this in action. Cool. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll um, go into a team. Now this team could represent your um, a project, a client, something like that. And, and maybe you wanna synchronize the whole channel and all the files to do with that channel. Um, so using OneDrive shortcuts, you're not actually synchronizing. What you're doing is you're creating a bookmark, in a sense, placing it within your OneDrive, and then it's as easy as using the um, sync files on demand. So here I am in uh, the MW change, and I want to be able to go into the general channel and maybe just synchronize the, or rather create a shortcut for the whole folder. Um, so we'll go and instead of clicking sync, because that would synchronize everything there, um, I'm going to choose to add shortcut. So I'm adding a shortcut, and what it does is it creates it as a shortcut within my OneDrive. Um, so let's have a look, it has been added, and it's called general, you see that there? Now here's the initial thing that put me off shortcuts for um, the first experience. I looked at that and I thought, general, okay, but where is it from? I can't tell which, which team it's from, right? So um, how do I make sense of this? Um, I can right click, I can, just like any shortcut, as Han said, rename it. So let's give it, uh, I like to use square brackets, I guess, and we'll say that this is from the MW change team. Close off those brackets, square brackets, hit enter. And there we have it. I already, I can see from the prefix that I've given where it's come from. It's still the general channel. If I go into that uh, folder, I can see here are all the other folders and files that I could jump into and synchronize on demand. So here's an example of how to record and view a meeting. Let's right click that and say always keep on my device. And it's gonna bring down the 132 megs that is in that PowerPoint. You can see it synchronized in there. So for convenience, um, it means that as I glance through my OneDrive, now my shortcuts actually make a whole lot more sense because I can uh, see where that's from. The other good news is that when I synchronize those shortcuts and I rename them, the renamed shortcut is synchronized across all my devices. So I could go into my phone and I can see the same name of that shortcut there and um, manage that too. Or go to another device, sign into it, see those shortcuts, it's all synchronized within the OneDrive experience. So there you have it, quick tip there for OneDrive for renaming your shortcuts to help them make sense. Hope this has been useful. Thank you Hans Brender for sharing that with me, Mr. OneDrive. We'll see you again soon, bye for now.